<laughs> Happy Monday! Today we are getting in the Christmas spirit and we're going to make fudge. So this is one of my favorites growing up. I remember my mom making this using I think like the marshmallow cream. But I remember her boiling water and putting just a little bit of sugar, like white sugar, and then you, you would have to boil it to the right temperature where the sugar formed like a ball, I think. This could be, I could be thinking of something else. And but. this is my mommy <laughs> with the candy ball. Yes. So, but my version, it's not with... I don't, I don't know. Do you want to grab it for me? Okay. Um, so instead of peanut butter, I'm going to use cashew butter. You can also use almond butter, but cashew butter is, I find it tastes closest to peanut butter. My mama did eat her apron on. Yep, and Jelly, I need to have my apron on. Right, 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 Okay, okay, come on over. It's fine. So we are also going to be making our own cream cheese because we are um, <laughs> we love you today. <laughs> we this recipe, the fudge calls for cream cheese, and we are a dairy-free house for the most part. Me and the girls are anyway. And so and I really didn't want to spend, you know, the eight or nine bucks on the cream cheese that you can find at the store that has added ingredients and preservatives in it. So we're going to make our own and ours is out of cashews, raw cashews that I've had soaked for overnight. So if I'm going to soak, if I'm going to soak nuts and seeds, I'll just do it overnight because it's out of the way of my own think about it. So these cashews have, they've been soaking overnight and now we are going to be making our cream cheese before we make the fudge. So for the cream cheese, so I soaked two cups of raw cashews, soaked them overnight. I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of lemon juice as well as two tablespoons of water and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. You can add a little bit more if you'd like of the vinegar. And then two tablespoons of coconut cream. And then that's it. Then I'm just going to blend it until it's nice and smooth. This was from my previous batch that I made. So it's, I mean, it's really going to be that kind of texture. and letting them mix on the stove. And this is really 
it's one of the recipes that I grew up with, but obviously I made some different uh, alterations with it. of it. I mean, really, I don't know. I always thought cream cheese doesn't have much of a taste, but you can use this. I mean, for this recipe, all you need is a half a cup. So you can save this. You can add honey to it. I mean, whenever I was in undergrad, I was, I was obsessed with the flavored cream cheese like the blueberry flavor and then the honey cinnamon and I, I forget whatever else. Really, I was more uh, interested in the sugar part of it. But if you make your own cream cheese and then you add your own flavorings such as pure honey and pure maple syrup, you can put some freeze-dried blueberries in there and, and mix it up. And it's just so much healthier for you. And then you can make some homemade bagels and you don't feel the ramifications of having high sugar and highly preservatives in your food. So I've already set aside a half a cup of the cream cheese I'm going to be using in the fudge. So I'm going to grab the cashew butter and butter. And ideally, you would have this over, I mean, you would turn the heat off and just mix all the ingredients. So we're just going to, hopefully I didn't scorch that too much. So I'm just gonna mix the cream cheese in first. And like I said, this is just half a cup of cream cheese, my cashew cream cheese. We don't really use cream cheese a whole lot, but now that holidays are coming, I do find that some of my recipes have more or call for more cream cheese. So this cream cheese won't go to waste. So I'm just going to mix this till it's completely mixed together. And then I will be adding three quarter cup of sweetener. So what I'm using is this monk fruit sweetener. This is um, from the monk fruit. It's a lot more natural. It's not quite as harsh as, definitely not as bad for you as sugar. And it's kind of equivalent to xylitol, which xylitol, which is comes from birch trees, but because it's a lot more and more demand, it's actually being coming from corn. So you have to know your sources, but a lot of people tend to have more symptoms when they use xylitol, but monk fruit is a great keto sugar, low sugar, low glycemic index sweetener alternative to pure sugar. So and you want this type of texture in the fudge, not normally I would have just put honey or maple syrup, but you need actual bulk to it besides the liquid. So cream cheese is all mixed. So I'm using the monk fruit sweetener, three quarters of cups of that, as well as a third a cup of my favorite grass fed protein chocolate flavored. So we're going to add that to this bowl and I probably should have grabbed a bigger bowl. And I'm just going to mix this together. And by this point you might want to get a bigger bowl. <laughs> we're going to see if I can swing this. If I had my helper here, I would have her, but she 
can't be bothered right now. She's playing. So this, other than heating up the cashew butter and butter, you're not going to be cooking this. You're just going to put this on a parchment lined dish and either stick it in the freezer or a fridge. I usually stick it in the freezer just because it speeds up. And then once it's hard and settled, then I'll cut it into pieces and put it in a container and put it back in the freezer. And this freezes, I mean, it freezes really well. It will somewhat, um, when it gets room temperature, it's going to be a lot softer. So I wouldn't take it out if you're taking this to a party. I wouldn't really take it out of the freezer until the last minute. But it's not like whenever it comes to room temperature, it's not going to spread out and totally dissolve. It will, uh, it'll just get really soft. So once you notice that all the sugar has been incorporated, it is because of how the butter and cream cheese and all the oil, it is going to kind of pull away from the pan a little bit. But once it's frozen, the oil that's starting to come out of it is separating. Uh, once it's frozen, you, you don't really notice it at all. Okay, so I'm going to get my parchment pan here. Or dish. Doesn't look beautiful yet, but once it's once it's hard and it's set, doesn't matter. It tastes amazing. We will probably not have any left by tomorrow. <laughs> okay. So this probably this will fit in more of a eight by eight dish. If you're only single batching it. And it does, like right now, it does look oily because the oil has separated and mixed really well with the cashew butter and the cashew cream cheese. There's a lot of cashews in this recipe. Okay, so that is, I'm gonna put this in the freezer. It'll probably take about, probably four hours for it to be where it's easily, you can cut it and put it in a container and then um, keep it until you party or whenever you put it Put a cookie plate, this is what we usually add to our cookie plate. We'll make sugar cookies, which I've done on here before. And uh, I'll just have a nice variety of different cookies to give to people. All right, that is all. I have to clean my hands before I shut this down. <laughs> So I'm just going to stick this in the freezer. And we are all done. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you give this a try. And like I said, you can use almond butter as well instead of the cashew butter because cashew butter can be a little bit more on the pricey side, but my family tends to like cashew butter better. And you can use xylitol, you can use this milk fruit sweetener. This was the powdered form, but you can also use the granular form as well. If you are using the granular form, I recommend putting it 
on back on the stove top so that you can uh, so it'll melt a little bit better but i hope you guys have a great week and um we will see you soon